much damage five of them would do. Because they get stronger together. There we go. Oh, there we go. Through the shielding. There we go. Five kills. These things are lethal. I finally unlocked four new Gozer weapons. So these are new energy weapons, and we're going to put it on this Ares. We have Bulgasari legs, so we can hold more weight. So here they are. We have four of them. Light weapon, and all it says is the more of these weapons are mounted, the stronger they become. So not much of a description, but eight energy drains. So not super heavy, but I couldn't run to Ares legs. It just wasn't... It didn't hold enough weight to run four of these, so we have the Bulgasari legs. And then, of course, we have the Ares torso as well, so we have that cool Retribution shield. And then in terms of sh abilities, we're going to run the Deployable shield. We can't run... Actually, no, I want to run... Yeah. I can't run a second ability because we just have too much energy, or not enough energy capacity. And then Ares shoulders as well. So let's go to battle. I don't know what these things are going to do, but I'm excited to try them out. We also have the five Punisher build... Uh, robot so let's go to battle to do this all right um let's drop this thing in first here we are let's see what these things are all all about i do have the basil pilot as well loaded up whoa that is a crazy design that is bizarre did you guys obviously just saw that that was really weird so similar to like the halo these are automatically reload while firing weapons. So you don't have to reload them because they're always reloading. But I'm not sure how long the reload actually is. Okay, there's a guy on the enemy team there, Themen. Oh, there's two of them. I don't really want to engage both of them. Um, you know what? Maybe we should... Okay, I'm going to mark that for my teammates. Uh, yeah, marking is extremely useful. I wish they had that in regular war bots. I'm going to go around here. Flank them. Flank them. Okay, let's see what kind of damage these things deal and how they... Okay, they're very... Whoa, they're very accurate if you can aim them properly. Oh, we're out of ammo now. Okay, well, hold on. Man, that's... They're super weird. So all four weapons, it seems like, shoot into one beam and the one beam fires at enemies. I think we have to focus that beam, though, onto, like, one piece of armor of the enemies to burn through it really quick. Okay, reloading. Like this. I'm gonna try to aim at his torso. Is that hitting? Why is that not hitting? Okay, that was really weird. That was... Whoa! Who's shooting at me? Whoa! That's three Balgasari Scourges just ran by me. Okay, hold on. The reload's a bit long. It's a bit long reload. Okay, come on. Let's get the skill. Okay, now, come on. We're through his armor. There we go. Okay, that was heavy damage. I'm gonna back up here. Abort, abort, abort. Abort, abort. I don't have any shielding. Ooh, he's through ours. He's through armor. Okay, let's follow him. Reloading a bit. Torso. Oh. Boom, double kill. Okay, now we're getting the hang of it. It seems like you have to fire and focus fire on pieces of enemy armor. They're not like tusks where you just fire away. Another one. Okay, I'm just reloading. I'm just reloading for a sec. Okay, shield up. Get. It. We have to get through that shielding. There we go. Boom, three kills. Nice. Oh, we just got sniped. We just got sniped in the back. Fury. I gotta reload. Okay, I got abort, abort. I gotta reload, man. Ooh, we're down to 27% health. We're down to 27%. We're actually down on the beacon bar as well right now. These are really weird weapons. I actually really like the design. That's a really... Obviously, these weapons do not exist in regular warbots either. So this is a brand new concept completely. There we go. Four kills. So, yeah, it seems like you... Once you can really... If you can aim right at an armor plate, you'll burn through it quick. But, if you kind of rotate armor plates, firing at them, then you're going to have a tougher time. Because the reload's pretty long. Our team controls Man, I really want to try five of these things. I can only imagine how much damage five of them would do. Because they get stronger together. There we go. Oh, there we go. Through the shielding. There we go. Five kills. These things are lethal. And from what I understand, they're not like... See, this is hard to aim. 
It's... Oh, that was so hard to aim. Game of inches when you're that far away. Okay. I mean, we're actually still down to the beacon bar. Alright, let's push forward here. Um, you can see our armor is completely destroyed, pretty much. Oh, we almost had him. Okay, I have my ability up now. Oh. We're shield up. Six kills! We are on a massive kill streak with these Gozer. Massive. Oh. I don't think we have enough health. We don't have enough health or armor. We're through his shielding. Ah, we just, we just ran out of armor. We just ran out of armor. We did not have any healing or regeneration. Man, those are kind of crazy weapons. Um, Let's drop... Yeah, let's drop the Punisher. I've actually never used this build before. Someone told me it's really good, so... I guess we'll find out. Five Punishers. The clip is very large. Oh, man, I'm missing these shots. Fury reload. Boom, there's one kill. Oh, man, get away! God, the guy went in front of his teammate as, like, a riot shield. Weird. Got him. Man, Punishers? Punishers might be the best weapon for just melting armor. They're insanely good at that. All right. That guy killed me. Stupid bulwark. Um, let's drop... Yeah, let's go Titan. We got a beacon bar lead, but it's not huge. Let's try to get this beacon back. Fly this way. Oh, they got a guy here. Because of the accuracy of the the, uh, the Titan weapons, it's best to get close. Death beam. Kill him, kill him. Okay, nice. Dead. Dead? Yeah, let's grab this beacon back. Fire away. Hey, kind of. The Titan weapon is not super accurate. It's pretty hard to aim, honestly. Oh, this isn't good. This is not good. Oh, double. Oh, this is bad. Double Alpha Titans. Okay, this might be the end of us. We're down to 41% health and our armor is compromised. We're going down. We're going down. We're going down. We're dead. We're dead. Freaking dead. Those meatball boys killed me. Uh-oh, they're pushing our beacon. They're making actually a push here. The question is, do they have enough time? Um, I'm going to go behemoth. This is a bit risky, actually. Oh, okay, board. Oh, are you serious? He just... This is the problem with the theory. Our armor broke so fast, and now we're down to 20% health. So freaking fast. And we're dead. Okay. Um, that wasn't fun with the Behemoth Trebuchet. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Um, oh, that's it. All right, I'll take the win. We didn't do much with that Fury Trebuchet, but we got a good kill streak with the Ares. Two million damage, six beacons, 10 kills, MVP. All right, let's try another game. Okay, here we are, game two. Let's drop in the Ares Gozer again. All right, so first initial thoughts are awesome design of the weapons. Very creative design. Um, the reload is a bit long, but the skill curve is like, oh, we just got sniped midair. The skill curve is like very high, as in, if you can use them properly and aim properly, you're going to get a lot out of the weapon. But if you kind of struggle to target armor plates, then they're going to be tough to use. Uh, I think there's one guy here. Okay, let's just go through. Oh, double. Oh, there's two players there. I don't want to engage both of them. It's never a good idea to go 1v2. We got through someone's armor. Oh, we almost got him, actually. I'm reloading, though. I'm reloading. Reloading. Okay, there we go. Okay, first kill. Ooh, guys, right here. 
Okay, two kills. From what I understand, too, these weapons aren't like Scourge, where the closer you are, the more damage they deal. Like Scourge, the closer you are, they deal more damage. These aren't like that. So, they're probably best at medium range. Okay, we're just reloading. Okay, now we're good. There we go. Oh man, moving and firing is so difficult for these. Okay, there we go. I actually love the amount of uh, manual aiming that's in this game. Like, it makes every weapon, like, difficult to use. And the better your aim, the better you're gonna do. It's not like regular robots where it's very easy to aim the weapons. Oh, Balga, sorry. Melt him, melt him. Oh, come on. The kill was mine. Let's go to center. We're down to the beacon bar. Let the weapons reload. Let the weapons regenerate. Uh, fire away. There we go. Oh, what? Come on, I thought I had that kill. I thought that kill was mine. Okay, reload weapons, reload. I'm, tr I'm keeping my eye. I'm always kind of looking at the mini map as well to see what beacons they're taking, what beacons they have. Now we're reloading. Oh, see, when you went out, armor shredding. Guess it close. Whoa, guys, right here. Cooked. Three kills. Ability up. Nice, four kills. We're up to four kills. Oh, we're down to 3% health. Oh, we went down. We went down. That was a good kill streak, though. We got four kills. Four kills with one robot. Pretty good. Um, what are the beacon bars at? I'm just thinking here. Um, okay, let's go Punishers. Here we go. Shred him, shred him, shred him. There we go, kill. All right, actually, you know what? This is probably going to be a very long game. So, I don't want to make this video too long, so I might cut it off here. But... Either way, those are the Gozer weapons. I'll just get my... They're they're effective, long reload, but they're also best at medium range and if you can aim directly at plates. Oh, shredding. See how the Punishers, you don't have to aim at individual parts. You just fire an enemy and they'll shred up. Gozer, they're not like that. You have to aim very accurately. So that's going to wrap it up. And meatball subs. One more kill. Oh, come on. All right, see you guys next time.